Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name's Anna and I'm a random stranger on the internet talking you, to you about beauty. All right, today we are doing my very, very, very delayed project pan. Oh my gosh, like this was supposed to be up two weeks ago and I just, I've had some unexpected things come into my life recently. Uh, I will be doing an update video about that soon. But yeah, I just, things got crazy. Thank you guys for your patience, I appreciate it. But let's get into our project pan. For those of you who've never seen my project pan before, I do tallies, so I keep track of all of it. And the tallies this month don't quite make sense just because we technically went over a month in this update with how everything worked out. Um, but it was a really exciting one. So first one, if you saw my empties, this won't be a surprise to you. This is the Tarte Blush in Party, the deluxe sample size. And I finished this. Yep. Empty. Done. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know you could finish a blush. I'm so proud of myself for doing that. It just, I feel absolutely elated. The next one is the Milani blush. Now this one, my original goal was to pan it and then I realized that was dumb, that's never gonna happen. So my next one was to hit pan. Just hit pan in this Milani blush in Rose de Oro. And da da da, can you see it? Can you see it? Right there, right there, right there. That, you guys, is pan. It's, it's legit, like that is metal pan right there. I was not even convinced this had a pan. I, like, I have worked on this so consistently, so consistently. And then this month, I used it five times, and boom, that glorious pan right there. I mean, I have used the fire, let's look at this. It's so flat and domed off, and I bet you could still use this every day for a year and not finish it off. But the important thing for the sake of this project is in a full size blush, blush, I have pan, not just a little pan, like big pan. That's big pan. Um, so I'm able to roll this product out and I am so thankful. Like I'm not touching that blush again for till at least next summer. I'm so over <laughs> that blush. All right, the next one is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. It was in uh, a Christmas collection from a couple years back, the Belle Carousel. All right. And it is this product right here. And I use this product, let me see, 10, 34 times. Again, remember we went over a month on this one. And it's got, I don't know if you can tell, it's got a really good dip going on in it. Like really good dip right there. My goal on this one is just to hit pan and then if we hit pan and keep going, we'll see. But it's it's got a really nice dip and I'm super pleased with it. So that has been working out. We're still chucking away on that one. The next one was a lotion. It was this one right here. It was this uh, Bath and Body Works French Lavender and Honey and it's, it's basically done. And on top of that, like my dog bit into it and then it got tossed under the bed. So like there's maybe one or two more squeezes out of this, but I'm calling this product done just because of the environmental hazard. And I mean, you can tell too, like, like the, the it's done it's done so i used it four times all right the next one i don't actually have it was a tiny can, uh fragrance the nest fragrance it was like um an orangey citrus scent i don't know where it is like i don't i've looked high and low and i can't find it anywhere i i feel like i took it on a trip and then i'm wondering if i left it at my mom's house but she hasn't called me to let me know that i left it there so i don't know for sure but I cannot find it anywhere. So that one's a wash just because I lost the product. All right, the next one is my concealer. Um, this is Grody and I apologize, but it's the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. And we have used this thir just about 30 times. And you can see like, I've got good scrape on it when I move it around. Um, I'm thinking I will probably, like when I look in there, there's not a whole lot in there and I get a lot of light when I look at it, but I still haven't pulled the stopper out. So we're just still trucking away on that one. The next one was this one. This was been a multiple project. It is the Too Faced Melted Matte in Sugar Cookie. And um, we were doing great on this one. I, I think we were actually pretty close to finishing it and then 
I broke it. I don't even know how I broke it. I pulled it out of my scrub pocket and I was like, oh. So it's nasty and look, like this, the top just straight up broke off and it looks like that. So it's just really unsanitary for me to use this product now. It's, it's just gross. So we're just getting rid of that product. Like I, I literally just reached out and put it in the trash can because I was only saving it to show you in this video and it's, it's really gross. It's, I don't want to put that on my lips anymore. So that one, I'm not counting as my own fault. The, the losing the perfume, I was like, okay, but that I was like, how do these things even break? I didn't even know they could break. I've never had one break before, but I've also used the fire out of it. So, and that last month I used it 13 times before it busted, so. It's just done. It's done. All right. Um, the Maybelline Master Prime in 400. This is finished up. I just had to use it nine more times and we completed that product. Oop, I was about to toss it, but we do a big empty at the end of the year, so. All right, and then the last one, I actually forgot to mention this in my video. I meant to add it in and then I just forgot it, so but I started tracking immediately and it is the Pixi Skin Treats Glow Mist. So I started up here last month. And then this is my mark this month. And I use this 34 times. So that's where we are. Really trucking away on this. So I'm pretty proud of that. All right, let's talk about what we're adding back in. All right. To replace the lotion, we're actually going to pull in this Bath and Body Works Winter Candy Apple. It finally got cold here, so it's a good scent for this. Mm -hmm. So we will be adding this in. This is the last I have of ones like this, like this shape container. So I had a collection of three that were sitting on my nightstand that I knew I just needed to use up. So this is the third one. If I can finish this by the end of the year, start off with a clean nightstand, I'm going to be very, very, very happy. The next one is actually this right here. This is the... Uh, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I've actually loved this. Um, and I just moved it around, but we're starting right there. So my goal is going to be finish this up. I don't know if we can finish it up by the end of the year, but I bet we can because I'm only, I'm about halfway done with it and I've only been using it for a couple months. So I think I can finish it up by the end of the year. That's my goal is to finish that up by the end of the year. To replace the lipstick, I'm pulling in this Kat Von D lipstick in the shade lovesick so a little mini i actually really like the kat von d formula but i no longer support her company so i'm kind of trying to work through all the products of hers that i have and just kind of roll them out uh next we are rolling in this the heart candy glamophage um i i'm okay with this product it's got a lot of use in it already like you can see me kind of swirling it around i've i've got a lot of use out of this so I just kind of want to finish this up. It is currently the oldest foundation in my collection. It's not too terribly old, but I try to constantly be panning whatever's the oldest in my collection. So I thought I would just move that in an official capacity. And then the last one is the Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Cream. This is just a mini. Um, I'm not crazy about the scent. I think I've used it once maybe, but it's just sitting here. I just need to use it up. So this is to motivate me to finish it up. Thank you guys so much for your patience as I work through this project. I'm so sorry for the delayed update, but please go into the world. Be fabulous. Be you. Bye.